Salute, Coach Fleming here, aka Fleming the Process Larsen, back with another hybrid boxing video. This video is all about learning online. In this video, uh, this online lesson is going to cover punch statistics, footwork with punch statistics, and staying defensively responsible. So there's a lot of information in this video. Can you learn online? Yes, you can. No doubt in my mind, because I know I spent 40 plus years in martial arts, training in gyms with partners, under instructors, but as for learning my 52 blocks, and as for learning my boxing, getting certified as a boxing coach, I learned all of that online. And uh, as you will see in the video, when you're online, there's a screen between you, but my student can ask me questions, I can give my student feedback directly and we can work out the kinks and we can see what's working and what's not so my student will be evolving and I see from week to week from last week to this week to next week I see improvement and I see what needs working on and we cover that in the lessons Now, when I was learning online, I learned 85 to 90 percent on my own with our partner. Of course, I used some equipment like these you need a partner for, this you don't. So you can train with a, with a bar or with a heavy bag of any kind. Or you can train in the air, as I did. If you need, if you have a partner who can help you, who wants to train with you, that's the best thing. But all of the basics, intermediate stuff, you can learn on your own training with with me as a with me coaching you or someone else coaching you. Once you need. To work on your mitts. If you don't have a partner to hold your mitts for you, you can get a family member or a friend or anybody to hold mitts for you. And I would be coaching the one holding the mitts, your your friend, your family member. I would be telling them how to hold the mitts correctly. And I would be coaching you how to strike the mitts. So you can get a lot of work done. You can become you can become really good at the basics and the intermediate stuff without a partner. Do I recommend a partner? Absolutely. If you have someone to train with, train together. I can teach two people, three people online, group sessions or partner trainings. It's no problem. But the most important thing is getting the work in being consistent. So, Train every week, train slowly, get good mechanics, get a little muscle memory, get perfect muscle memory, and that's why I come in. I will uh, make sure that your habits are good, so you're not developing bad habits. I will make sure your mechanics and your form are good, so what goes into muscle memory is the valuable stuff. That's what I can offer in an online training. Now I invite you to watch this online lesson and see how much information my student gets out of one online lesson. Listen to my feedback to him. Listen if he's asking me questions. So you can see the back and forth between student and teacher in an online lesson. And know that I work with him every week so I can see progress, steady, ongoing. I'm building from the ground up and he's learning and he's becoming quite capable and he's learning flow 
and his muscle memory is getting better and he's quicker to pick up on instructions. Understand that if you were an absolute beginner, my instructions would not be as fast as they are in this lesson. I would slow down and take, take it step by step, making sure that you could understand the content. So watch the video, enjoy it, see what you can learn from it. Salut. I always hit Bob and he keeps coming back for more. Why is that? Short answer, he likes it. If you like this video, you should come back for more too. And the best way to do that is just a quick answer. One, two, hit like, hit subscribe. It actually helps the YouTube algorithm and that helps me to make more videos for you. And as you are enjoying this content, don't forget to share it with your friends so they can enjoy it with you. I appreciate you. Here's what you have to do. Another online training. Welcome, Lars. Thank you. Just talk, uh, told you about the walking 25s, and I'm going to send them to you so you can try them. They sound really hard. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, enjoy and best of luck to you with the, with those. And uh, if you have any questions, just ask. Yeah. Okay. I'll do that. We're gonna start off with some punch logistics. Yep. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna go a little bit into uh, the detail in each punch. So the first one would be a number one, which is a. What's number yeah. one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's right. You get into your boxing pants. Hands high, loose, ready to move, like this. And as you extend your jab, your shoulder is covering your chin. Your other hand is covering your temple. And you come back to natural cover. So it's like this, you're, you're loose. We're going to do it walking the floor, so we're just going to start back here, step, 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 and backwards, step, step. Make sure you keep that shoulder up in front of your chin, or in front of your chin as you go. So as you punch, this is this is covered. Can can, can you see it? Yeah. This this is covered. Your chin. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And the jab, the jab is a a non-committed strike, uh, meaning that you can you can uh, use your jab from where you are without leaning, without uh, giving a uh, stepping, without doing anything of yourself. Uh, opening up, the only thing you open up is, is the ribs momentarily. As you come back, you cover the ribs again. But uh, you can also make make the jab. More offensive by stepping, 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 and you can make it more a defensive point by going back, going back. So the jab can be from from a standstill where you are. It can, you can move in with it. You can move in, so you move two feet, or you can move back, or you can move back two feet. Can you see it? Yeah. So either jabbing from a standstill, yeah. jabbing 
leaning forward, jabbing, leaning backward, jabbing, stepping forward, and jumping back again, or jabbing, and jumping back again. Try those. First from a standstill. Yeah. And then just stepping and retracting. Yeah. Uh, as you as you uh, jab uh, with the back, it's 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 more of a you move the foot, uh, keeping this one in place and stepping back up. Yeah. And then you, you're gonna jab, moving the front foot, but following with the rear foot and then jumping back again. So it's one two, one two, one two, one two. Yeah. Yes. One, two, backwards. And back. Yeah. Back in. Yes. That's the jab and some applications of the jab. Either just a, a, you flick it out, you flick it out, or you step in with it and go back again. Uh, the, the, the advantage of the, the step in and back again is you, you extend your range, but you stay out of range as you retract the jab. So you gain range and then you come back out to where you were. Your back foot isn't moving. Yeah. Yeah. Distance, yeah. yeah. yeah so that's a uh, distance control. Excellent. Yeah. And now we're gonna go with the two. The two is what? The two is a. Oh. Um, uh, jab straight. No, no, no. One is jab. Two is. Yeah, no, the main one is a straight. Yeah, straight right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you're orthodox, straight right, straight rear hand. Okay, you are loose, and uh, when you rotate, you rotate on your foot, and you rotate in your hip and your shoulder. So, if you are kicking, you start from the shoulder, head shoulders down by moving your body and uh, going to the feet. If you punch, you start from the feet up, moving your foot, moving your hip, moving your shoulder. Like this, okay? So we're gonna rotate and punch, come back. As we punch, this shoulder is covering our cheek, our chin here, and the other hand is covering here. The ribs are momentarily open, and we cover when we return to two stands. So like this, and we're gonna do it walking the floor. We're gonna start here. Loose, step, 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 and backwards, step, 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 and stay loose as you move, okay? Cover shoulder with, with, cover chin with shoulder and cover. With the other hand. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking, can I see your chin when you're punching? Can I see your chin here over your shoulder as you punch? Or can I see nothing of your chin? And as you're punching, I can see your chin a little bit. Make sure to keep the shoulder up. Yes. And relax. Not, not, ooh. Yes, sir. Yes. Well, that one you couldn't see. Sorry. Yeah, I can see plenty. Okay. Yeah. 
Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. At first, when you were doing it, it was a little bit with the shoulder down, a little bit more like this, where you move your head. That's also a good defense to move your head as you strike, get offline. Yeah. Uh, but uh, as you uh, use your shoulder correctly, your head stays a little more in here, which is also fine because you can always move or you can you are wound up so you can strike again. Yeah. Okay. The next one is number three. Is what? What is that? So left hook. Left hook. Yeah, lead hook. That's right. Uh, sorry, we're not going to number three yet. We are going to uh, see some footwork with the two. Huh? Yeah. The two, as you uh, throw the one, two, you throw the one, and as you throw the one, you step out a little bit like this. They can't see that because they see the hand, and as they see the hand, your foot is moving on the cover. Then as you th throw number two, you pull up your rear foot, and now you're offline. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's the one we're gonna we're gonna go with right now. Yeah. Step, 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 step. Yes. Back. Step, step. Step, step. Yes. No, but turn around. Just turn around, yes. Yes, and now we're going to do another step with the two. Yeah. We throw the one, two, one, two, our weight is here, so now we can move out here and back. Step, step, one, two, jump, back, step, step. So, one, two, as you you deliver the two, your weight is on this leg, which frees this leg to move as you push off the other leg. So it's... Step, step. Step, step. Are you moving step. your left leg a bit out before the jab? No, not necessarily in this one. You can step in, step straight forward. Straight forward, here, back, okay. move, yeah, back in. Step, step, step. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Correct. And back. One, two, jump. Yes. Looking good. Sorry. Yeah. Now come to left hook. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Number three. Sorry. Yeah. A basic left hook. You are putting your weight in your rear leg. You are turning on your front leg and hip and shoulder. Mm -hmm. So all of your body delivers power behind the punch like this. 
It's not just not just an arm punch. It's all of the body. Your elbow comes up, so the punch is level and return. Go under, go under, like this. So it's step, 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 step. Step, step. And you can you can weave to both sides after the punch. You can start off. Yeah, you can start off weaving to this side, going under the right hand, coming back in, or you can start off weaving this side under his left hook. As you throw the left hook, often oftentimes he will counter with his own left hook. And if that's the case, then you need to go this way. And come up, and if he throws the right hand, if he, if, if you know notice he is a right hand counter guy, then you throw the left hook under the right hand and back. So try both as you step step. Yeah, yeah, that's under the left hook. Yes. Step, step, under the right hand, yes, step, step, right hand, that was the right hand, yep, and that was the left hook, yes sir, one time back, yeah, yeah, turn, turn around, Yes, sir. Okay, a couple of all applications of the jab. Remember the one we just did with the one, two side jump? We're gonna do that with the left hook. Okay. So we're gonna throw a two, three. My weight is now on this rear leg, which frees me off uh, so I can jump to this side. Coming back, step, step. Two, three, right here. I can jump to this side, stepping back. Step, step, two, three, side, back, step, step, okay? Yes, correct, you got it. Nice, your, your uh, jumps were nice and low, so it's, it's just like you are throwing and performing a disappearing act. So all of a sudden there's nothing where you just were, and uh, it looked really nice and flowy with you. Thank you. Okay, now we're gonna get into some good stuff about the, the hook, some real useful stuff. It's called a check hook. A check hook is when you check your opponent's punch as he's throwing, for example, a straight right here. What I might do is pivot and hook. So his right is going straight past and I'm connecting with my hook as his punch is extended. He gets clipped. Yeah. Okay, that's a check hook. And the, the most basic form of a check hook is just having uh, your weight in the front leg, pivoting. As, as you, you see the, the punch come, you pivot and you hook. Okay? That's the, the basic form. Then there's something, I'm not sure, I have heard it called both, 
both a Russian check hook or a Cuban check hook. I'm not, not sure which is correct, but uh, it's the same. But instead of just pivoting as you hook, mm -hmm. you actually step, step as you hook. Okay. So you actually step outside, you step outside with this one. And the last one, last, yeah, yeah, the, 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 this, there's the, the pivot and there's the step where you step, you actually become, becomes the south pole with the step. The pivot, you uh, maintain orthodox. Yeah, with the with the Russian check hook, you step outside, but for a brief second you are south or right here if you want to continue, then you can pivot and change into orthodox again if you want to. Yeah. Yeah. So that. And, and for a minute you are south or. Yeah. Yeah. That's the Russian or Cuban. Yeah, yeah. That's the one where you 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 go from from Orthodox to South Pole for a second, and then you're back if you want in an Orthodox, or you can uh, step back in here in an Orthodox. So, but uh, right this second you are South Pole, and you could continue as a South Pole right here, or you can step out and immediately go into. Orthodox afterwards. The last one is called a drag hook, a drag check hook. And that's where, as the punch is coming, instead of pivoting, instead of stepping out, you step back and extend your hook like this. So as the punch comes, poof. So you have three versions. Pivot check, mm -hmm. Russian Cuban check, mm -hmm. drag check. Okay? What's the difference between number one and number three? Number one is a pivot. Yeah. Number three, number three number three is a step back. Oh. So I I'm still in line with the punch but I'm leaning backwards. So number, number one, I pivot, facing the opponent as, as I hook him. Number three, I lean back, extending my hook. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. yeah. And number two, I become a southpaw, just for a brief second. And then I'm back in orthodox, if I want to. Okay. So try one, two, three, step, step, one, two, three, step, step. Would look like this. One, two, three, step, step, step. One, two, three, step, step. Okay? Yes, one, pivot, Russian, Cuban, yes, and drag, yes, step, step, pivot, yeah, Russian, Cuban, yes, and drag, yeah, step, step, once again, yes, sir, yes, Yes. Step, step. Turn around and go back. Pivot. Yeah, Russian Cuban. Yes. And drag. Step, step. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes.
Good. How did that feel? I like number two. <laughs> yeah, you like number two. <laughs> it's also a good one. Well, you're changing um, direction. Yeah, yeah you, you're converting to a cell phone, you just... Yeah. And you're offline. Mike Tyson used to do this. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It suits me. So, uh, where everybody else was trying number one, and taking a little bit longer, getting out, Tyson just did this and was a little bit faster. Yep. And then he's ready with a... With a, a, a yeah, then, then he would follow with a rear uppercut yeah, exactly. from South Pole and a left hook, and then he uh, uh, and, and, and left hook from Orthodox. So it's left hook, South Pole uppercut, Orthodox left hook, yeah. or left hook uh, out here, left hook, South Pole uppercut, and then to the body and to the chin. That's, oh, that's vintage nice. Tyson. <laughs> Vintage Tyson, okay? Yeah, uh, we are gonna go with the rear uppercut. Rear uppercut, yeah. That's number, which number is that? Number four. Yes, correct. So, rear uppercut. We're gonna bend a little in the body, uh, loading our punch. So we're not punching from here. We're punching from here, as we go down, we rotate our foot, our hip, our body, and then we come up. So, step, 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 step. And even even in the uppercut, this shoulder is still covering my chin. Okay? This hand is still covering my head. So shoulder comes in covering and back. You're covered on both sides throughout the punch, okay? And keep your elbows tight. Yep. Cover with the shoulder. Yes, sir. Can you feel your shoulder touching your chin? practice these, really try to uh, uh, analyze yourself and, and uh, maybe do it in front of a mirror and look at your chin line. Is your chin covered as you throw the palms or is it open? Just check it in a, in a mirror, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Now we're gonna go into a, an application you might throw. A, a, Non-committed, uh, non-committed jab where you step in a little bit as you as you uh, throw the rear hook, you drag your your foot up to the and step to the side like you did with the one two one two offline. You're gonna throw one two right here, and then you rip and and come up back. One two rip and come up. Back, step, step. Okay. So you throw a hook and uh, yeah. Jab, yeah, step a little bit in. Hook, step offline. Okay. Uh, hook to the uh, uppercut, step offline. St uh, hook to the body, uppercut to the chin. Back, step, step. Jab, yeah, uppercut, hook, uppercut. Back, step, step, okay? 
Yes? Yeah, but uh, when when you throw after you uppercut here, don't stay up here as you throw the body hook. Come down in level and then throw up. Yes, and back. Yes. Yeah, if I have to say one one uh, place the the, the most the, you need the most improvement is after the jab and uppercut, you need to go down in level instead of staying up here and punching a little more. Okay. Uh, change level <coughs> and back. Yeah, but uh, it's important as you uh, go down, wait on this leg, not the one you're punching with. This leg is light, so you can rotate where all the weight is here. Yes. Yeah, yeah, not, but in a straight line. Yeah, and then boom. Yeah, so in, up. Look, I uh, look at my hip. After I deliver this, I just come back and then up. So it's not. It's. It's. Back. Up. Back. Up. Okay? Back and up. Yeah. That's right. So you have power. In the last two punches, yeah. you got to the position on the outside. Yeah. Now you're gonna make him pay. Okay. So after you f connect or make him flinch, then you rip and rake. Yeah. yeah, that's what you want. Okay. Okay. Uh, about the rear uppercut, most upper uppercuts is if this covered with my opponent. Most uppercut, uppercuts is real close like this, like this, in inside. Yeah. yeah, but the rear uppercut could be all the way from out here and still connect. It can be a longer punch. So as you jab and step out, you step to the side. You have a lot of reach. I'm not in here where I was before. I'm out here and now I rip. And our rig. Yeah. yeah. So that's one of the cases where you can use your hover cut a little bit from a distance as you go offline to the side and rig and rig. Okay? Yeah. Now we're gonna go with the lead hover cut. The lead hover cut we're gonna combine with the two. So we're gonna throw two, and then we are already leaning, and five. Back, step, step, two, five, step, step, two, five, step, step, two, five, step, step, two, five, step, step, two, lean, five, come in, back, step, step, and with the two, you cover your chin with the shoulder 
And with the five, you cover your chin with the shoulder and come back in, okay? Could you show it just slow? One yes. Time? Yes. I'm obviously, uh, rotate everything. Yeah. Cover the chin with the shoulder. Cover the other side of the head with the right with the hand. Yeah, okay, very much. Come back in. But as you are out here, you're already leaning. So as you come back in, you're down here. Yeah. And then you come up, cover the shoulder, the chin with the shoulder, yeah. Yeah. and back. Step in. Step. Step. One, lean, two, come up from the leaning position, three, come back in, step, step, lean, punch, back, step, step, lean, punch, back, step, step. So you, after the two, you stay low and uh, connect with the lead uppercut, the five. You lean a bit on the two, lean a bit on the two, stay low and connect from there. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. And without getting up, you just connect. One. Yes. Okay. One. Two. Yeah. One. So connect, connect, back, step, step, connect, connect, back. And and after the uppercut, look, look at my body fast. Two is down here. Okay? Five is down here. And then I come back up. Step, step. Two, five, back up. So, look at my body. I'm in line. I'm in line. I'm offline. I'm offline. I'm back. I was just there, now I'm back. Step, step. Okay? Offline, offline, back. Yeah. Yes. Careful. What you, what you are having t a little tendency to do, Lars. Can you see me? You have a tendency to Throw, throw, but as you throw, you're already up. Throw, stay down, throw, stay down, back up. One, two, back up. Yes. Yes, much better, yeah. much better. Okay, we're gonna do a little combination. Just have to slow down a bit. Yeah, a little combination. Yeah. The same as before, one, two, as you come back up, six, out, and five again. So, it's, it's a two, five, and a six. Come up. Six. To the outside. Five. And back. Look. Two. Five. Back up. Six. Shuffle out. Five. Back in. Again. Two. Five. Back up. Roll out. I'll roll out yeah. Six. Uh -huh. Shuffle. Shuffle. And the five again. And five. And pivot back. Step. Step. Okay? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Take it slow. Thank you. Two. Five. Roll out. Six. Pivot. Yeah. Shuffle. Five. Pivot. 
step, step, two, five, roll out, six, shuffle, five, pivot, step, step, two, five, roll out, six, shuffle, five, pivot back, step, step, two, five, roll out, six, yes, step, step, yes, Yes? Oh, that's quite tricky. <laughs> yeah, but you, you're getting it. it just, it's just patterns of movements. Yes, sir. Yes, and all that is last is you. Th you thinking? I'm going to throw uh, throw my first combination is which is a two five. What do I do now? Can I punch again or can I move? I choose to move. Where could I move? I could move back in here. Yeah. Now I'm in front of him, and I'm immediately going to throw something. What now? Should I throw again or should I move? I choose to move out here and throw. So it's one, two, move, one, move, one, move. So you can make up your own, just slow down and uh, say, after this, what am I going to do? Uh, and I'm going to, uh, uh, am I going to throw or am, am I going to move? And as you decide, then you find out what comes next. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yes, you got it, that's all it is, deciding what to do next, teaching your body to decide on its own, so at first you have to cognitively decide with your brain what's the next move, as you get more experience your body decides for you, after this the body automatically goes whoa, Whoa! And move, okay? Yep. Now we're going to take the punch number six, which is what? Uh. One, two, three, four, five. That's a rear hook. Yeah, rear hook, that's right. Right hook. Rear hook. And the rear hook could come as you are, you, you are going to throw two arm punches, which are not hard punches, committed punches, and then you're going to set up the, the third punch, which is the power punch, okay? Yep. So what you're going to do is you're going to say, jab, uppercut, that's just arm punches, <laughs> fast, like this. And then as you uh, raise his chin, or make him react, then the rear hook comes, roll out, step, step, roll out, step, step, okay? So too fast, a power, and roll. Yeah, and then comes the power, and you roll, and step, step, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So the the first two punches, you're not really 
you're not really turning your body a lot you're just extending extending like this still maintaining shoulder cover shoulder cover and then immediately after the immediately after the uppercut boom, comes the power yeah and immediately after the power boom, you roll boom, roll yeah Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. That was nice flow. <laughs> you look like a pro. <laughs> Don't flatter me, sir. <laughs> no, no, no. It was. Whoa, boom, bang, moving. One continuous movement. Bam, 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 bam. That's what you did. I had to finish off in a, in a, good, in a good way. <laughs> yeah. It looked good, Lars. Thank you. I hope it felt good. It felt good, yeah. yeah. Good. There was a good flow in it. Yeah. I had much more planned for today, but uh, if I look at the clock, you said about uh, a quarter to, and now it's ten to. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so uh, you want more or you or you want we should stop? No, you better stop because I have to pick one up. Okay. So uh, all I can say is uh, very good. What you take away from this lesson is shoulder, shoulder. It's offline. It's rolling and moving. Yeah. Those four things. Shoulder to cover your chin. Getting offline, rolling, moving, like that. That was the exercise in front of the mirror to see if I could uh, put the shoulder in front of the cheek. Yeah, that's whenever you, uh, uh, whenever you punch. Uh, I'm going to go down here so you can see. Whenever you punch, you look in the mirror and see, can I see my chin? Yeah. Or you look in the mirror and see, can I see my chin? Is it covered? Yeah. Okay. So just like this, can I see my chin? Or is it covered? Yeah, okay. That's what you want to check. So every time you are standing in front of the mirror punching, you freeze. See, is my chin covered? You freeze. Is my chin covered? You freeze. Is my chin covered? That's what you do. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, uh, see you Monday or? Yeah, that's the plan. Okay. See you Monday. Yes. Well, a nice weekend, Jen. Yeah, same to you. Thank you. And uh, you. get that work. Yeah. Okay, bye. Bye. So that was short, short and sweet with Lars. And I'm going to send him the walking 25s, so he's going to start those as well. And it's going to be exciting to see what he says to them. Fleming from Denmark, say salute. That was it. It was a lot. Punch logistics, footwork, staying defensive and responsible. I hope you could use it. This is Fleming from Denmark saying, Salute. See you in the next one.